I'm smiling so big because this beautiful woman is sitting next to me or in front of me, I should say. I've got Janelle Monet in the building, y'all. Round of applause. Come on now. Hi. Ooh, there How's is so it going? much to, uh, to dig <laughs> into, but I just really want to talk about why you chose to open your heart and your soul and to expose the, as you said a little bit before, the, the viruses and the, the other Ooh. parts of what this album entails. This you is tried a, to do your little research, I, didn't no, you? No, I, I didn't try. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I did. So okay. tell us, what, what is inspiring you to really open up these pages of the book to this chapter and share these stories with us. I just think it was time. I mean, I think I've always been honest and vulnerable in my work. Yeah. I, I felt like I could, I had room to to be even more honest and, and vulnerable and just move in a, in different spaces, you know, uh -huh. that I had not tapped into before. Um, and, and I tend to lean on the self editing perfectionist side yeah. and it was really consuming me. It was just too much to try to, um, uh, go into the studio and, and write about all the sunny things. Do you feel you know? that when that moment does become a little bit too self-consuming that you're losing who you truly are and trying to be self-consuming? You're not just allowing yourself to be in those just moments. Just be, yeah. yeah. Sometimes we have to be. I mean, I, I spend a lot of time in the future. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's important for those who do that to come back to the present, um, especially when, you know, when, I, when, when they feel like they have something to contribute. And I feel like... As a woman, as a young black woman in America, there were so many things um, that I would see that were upsetting, that were exciting. Yeah. Um, but a, a lot of it, you know, stemmed from a lot of this writing process stemmed from um, the sting, um, I will say, of what it feels like to have your rights trampled on as a woman. Like yeah. take artists out of it, you know, when you the leader of the free world and just... I don't want to get too deep, but just, you know, what's going on in the political climate when you feel like um, women's rights are being trampled on, when you feel like minorities' rights are being trampled on, dirty computers represent those who are who are who are oppressed. And I wanted this to be a celebratory album. Yeah. For to, for, to, for just for do for being true to who yeah, you are, to for being who, just embracing, so genuine in what your heart feels. Yeah, this album is all about embracing what makes you unique. Yeah. Even if it makes others uncomfortable. To be that voice for a generation, to know that there are so many young men and women, Absolutely. black, white, Asian, Hispanic, yeah. that look to you as an inspiration, look to you as someone who they can relate to and they can take their own um, ideas of what you may be, what they may be thinking that you're singing about and they can find their own connection. What, what kind of responsibility is that for you as an artist to just be who you are, but also know that there are going to be a lot of people who do look to you, you know, as inspiration? Well, I think you have to just understand, you know, as a person, like I'm not fallible. I'm not, mm -hmm. um, you know, exempt from making mistakes and just not getting it right. And once you know that and you're like, I'm not going to always say the right thing. I'm not going to always do, you know, the best interview on promo tour. Yeah. But that's fine. Life will go on. Um, my intentions are pure. You know, I've given my heart and soul to this project. I care yes. a lot. That's the most important I part. I care. Yeah. I really care. And sometimes I care too damn much. <laughs> um, and so that can kind of get in the way of it. Um, but yeah, just I think through through my mistakes, I hope that people people feel comfortable in bouncing back from theirs. Yeah, you know. Now you put this together kind of, and you've explained you you've expressed and explained it that it's kind of in in sections. You know, yeah. it, it, there's you know, I mean, there's there's different. You know, the first four songs, and then the, what was the thought process in releasing? You know, or, or putting it together that way? Because gosh, man, I I can only imagine, and I've had this conversation with a few artists. When you're talking about putting together these stories, there is there is so much intricacy that goes into it. But now yeah. to really focus on putting that together and telling the story in that way, why? What was what was the reasoning behind behind releasing releasing stuff that? Yeah, way? Um, I think the album mirrors just you know the way I I've been able to take in information. I mean, being a dirty computer or being called a dirty computer is the same. You know, to be quite frank, is is like. <laughs> It's, you know, it's not called clean computer. I'm just warning out right now. It's called dirty computer. It's called dirty computer for a reason. Um, it's some websites yeah. that you might have so, visited that are on the, you know what I'm saying? So the... being, yeah, being a d dirty computer or realizing, so the album is broken up into three sections. The first four songs is the reckoning. Yeah. You know, uh, realizing what you represent to the society. Um, for black folks, it's being called n for the first time. Mm -hmm. The sting of that. Um, being a woman, being called b for the first time. The yeah. sting of that. You know, um, that's the reckoning. 
I am a dirty computer in this society. Yeah. Then you go into the celebration of what that means to be a dirty computer. And you have songs like um, Pink, mm -hmm. you know, celebrating women. Yeah. Um, you have uh, I Got the Juice. That's a song where you look in the mirror and you see your reflection. And, um, you know, you go out into the world and you have the confidence uh, to 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 be your unique self. That's to like a self. Own who you are. Yeah. Own own every ounce of you, um, despite what society says, um, mm. you, you know, you are and you represent to them. Um, you get to define that on your own terms. And then Django Jane, you know, um, that's definitely women's empowerment. And I like that. Like, I can go on and on. This is about celebrating the dirty computers. And then you go into the end. Um, you deal with a little fear of what that means to be brave. Yes. You have songs like Don't Judge Me. And you have songs like I'm So Afraid. And then you have Americans, and that's the reclamation. That's saying I'm a dirty computer, but I am too American. Yeah. That's reclaiming America, remembering and realizing that, you know, this country was built off the blood, sweat, and tears of your ancestors. Like our ancestors, mine, yeah. helped build the White House, you know? And, and, and I think— We will forever be <laughs> woven into— Woven into this fabric. This fabric of this— you know? country and i'm only saying this because you know there's a lot of divisive tactics out there and i think that it's just important to lead with love and this is an album that does does that although it you know goes through many different emotions and anger being one of them ultimately what i want is for people to to talk more and to 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 listen, to listen, not just to respond, yeah, but not listen, listen to clap back, listen, listen to understand. To, oh my God. And that's what I Let hope this album does. Damn yeah. Oh, damn. Go ahead. Thank receive those. Receive that's them. That's what I'm saying. Thank <laughs> you for this. Yeah. Good Lord. Listen oh. to understand. The music is here and, and the live performance aspect starts to happen. You're part of our Wango Tango. Yes. You get to be in, under the sun in LA. Man. Help bring I'm in ready. summer. I'm when ready. you get out onto the stage and you're performing these songs and you're performing from your heart and soul, what are those moments that you think about as a performer? Like, do you just go out there and say, damn it, I'm just going to let it all out there? Uh, or is it, you know, a, a load of preparation or is it a combination of both? Well, I feel like people come to, to, to shows, at least I do, seeking an experience. Yeah. They want to get taken to the next level. Yeah. Um, and, and that's what we aim to do. We want to give an experience that you will never forget. Damn, yeah. I need a ticket, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> can, I, can I make sure yeah. that I'm on that? I, I, I don't want to work that day, boss. I want to <laughs> make sure that I'm there. Because, I mean, this lineup is, is epic. I mean, we got Miguel on the lineup. You got artists like Ariana Grande. And, you know, to be able to come together in such a melting pot of music, what does that mean for you to see your music, really? Just, I mean, be yeah. exposed and, and consumed by so many different people, not only here in the U.S., to really take hold of your words and really understand what it means to be a dirty computer in America, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. globally to see mm -hmm. the fans from countries all across just say, yeah. like, damn, she is speaking to me. What's mm. that got to be like for you? Well, I just try to speak honestly from my heart. And, um, you know, when it's resonating, that's always like a plus. But it has to start here. I have yeah. to believe in it. You know, this is a very personal experience, this album. As much as it's inclusive and it's about celebrating all of us, it really does come from my personal experiences. And I realize that I don't and I can't speak for everyone. Mm -hmm. But those who, who who it resonates with, it means the world. Yes. Um, I hope all the dirty computers around the world feel seen, feel heard, and feel celebrated. Listen, there ain't no need to go and get an antivirus. You know what I'm saying? Just <laughs> embrace what it is. No you know what Nordic. What, no what Nordic. Is it? <laughs> it only does more damage. Yeah. Just really take a hold of who you are. Yeah. Lastly, how proud are you of the 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 young woman who you are and the and the the talent that you have continued to share with us? How how proud have you taken a moment to really think and sit back and say? I think I'm doing something right by my heart. How proud are you? Yeah, of, I of am. Yourself? I'm. I'm proud of myself. Yeah, I absolutely am. I'm proud of myself for not turning around a vehicle and going home to the hotel because I was so damn tired. <laughs> I'm proud of myself for getting up on time. There it is. Um, no, I. I absolutely. I, I feel you know self love is important, mm -hmm. and you got to take care of yourself. Period. And I think words of affirmation to yourself are important. I'm proud of myself. I'm not perfect. I shouldn't aim to be that. Like, you have to just tell yourself that. Keep going. You got up and you tried, you know, and 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 that's really all that matters. Yeah. You you get a, you get another day to be alive. Yeah. To be able to make a mistake is a blessing. Right. 
Yeah, yeah. I just thought about just, that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That might be the name of another song. Y'all, I started right here, and I'm going to get 3%. Yes. Hello. Right. <laughs> You know what? On the back end. <laughs> on the back, on the back, end. back, back end. <laughs> Obviously, y'all know, make me feel all over Z100, all over, I mean, all of our iHeartRadio platforms. You're going to be seeing her at our iHeartRadio Wango Tango. This is the gorgeous. And don't forget, download it and purchase and do what you got to do to make sure you get this And the album. emotion get picture, it. too. Oh, yeah, you got the emotional picture yeah. where you're going to be showing the, it's the, the music blended together with the visual. Yeah. How involved, before, yeah, let me, before we get, how involved were you in, because you did say you were a perfectionist. <laughs> How involved were you in it just enough to dip out and say, like, I trust that this is how I want this to show out to be? Oh, I was too damn involved. It oh. was it was stressful, <laughs> but it was so fun. Yeah. I worked with an amazing team of creatives. Um, I mean, my 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 creative team, Wonderland. I worked with some incredible women. Emma Westingberg on the visuals. Uh, Lacey Duke. Um, Alan Ferguson. Andrew Donahue. Um, is it Donahue or Donahue? Okay, I work with some incredible people. <laughs> now I gotta do this over. No, I work with some incredible already, people. Okay, Andrew Donna. Who we are. Exactly, Donna. What? I'm tired. Donna shit. Ho. Donna Ho. I love oh. you, Andrew. Um, <laughs> Chuck Lightning. Uh, you know, just a, a team of creative people that really did believe in the yeah. message and what we were trying to do. And uh, you know, I have people on the album like Stevie Wonder, um, John Bryan, who was one of my favorite musicians. He worked on the album with me. Uh, Brian Wilson. Uh, from the Beach Boys, um, Pharrell Williams, um, Zoe Kravitz. Ooh, I can I can go on. I'm probably missing some people, but huh? Oh, oh and Grimes yeah. on Pink. Yeah. I cannot Pink, forget. Yeah. yeah, that song slaps. My boo Grimes. Yeah, like I'm, man. um, yeah. It's mm -hmm. and I can go on and on and on. So the process was just incredible, um, and I think what was what was important for us is to be able to have an emotion picture. Some people will call it a visual album. Yeah. They'll call it a, a short narrative film. And that's, that's all fine. But I call it an emotion picture because it comes from my emotions first, then onto record and then onto the screen. It was important to dig deeper into the story. Yeah. Um, it's set in the near future. And I want to say that you can absolutely find it online. Go to YouTube. It's online. It premiered on BET. It also um, was on MTV mm -hmm. on Saturday at eight in the morning it, it replaced trl mm. so watch it it's 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 about a young girl named jane five seven eight two one and she's a part of uh in this uh to totalitarian uh society and she's fighting to hold on to her memories because the society is trying to erase her and so many other dirty computers we're, we're not too far from that it's hey, like, you said it, not me. We are, we are not too <laughs> far from that. I'm telling you, yeah. man, the, the goosebumps, the inspiration that I'm pulling from this room. Just thank you for continuing to be you. Thank you. I mean, that's really it. No, you know, BS about any of just you are you. And that's why we are attracted to the music, the energy, the spirit, man, the show, thank you. all parts of it, because there is just no, uh, there's no apologies. You're, just, you're coming from who you are and, and we accept it. Thank you, Maxwell. It was right a joy it's to a talk lovely. to you. Janelle Monet, I love your energy. Oh, my God. <laughs>